Hi, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. Today we're going to talk more about pivot tables and a new feature that's available in Excel 2007. I've modified a little bit what we ended with last time to show the referring physicians and the total number of patients that they've referred to our clinic, 2,541 patients. And here in this drop-down menu, there are some new features in Excel 2007. Today we're going to talk about label filters. Next time we'll talk about value filters. What label filters focus on is the label, these physician names that are in this label column. So if we click label filters, what we can do is we can look at equals, does not equal, begins with, doesn't begin with, ends with, doesn't end, contains, doesn't contain. There are a whole lot of different choices. And let's assume for whatever reason we want to know all the physicians that, uh, whose first name or whose last name starts with T. That's what we have here. So we're going to we, we're going to look for physicians whose last name begins with Dr. T. And you'll see here there's a bunch of different options here as well as you get into this, but I just want Dr. T and then let's see. Let's put right here it says an asterisk to represent any series of characters. So anything that has Dr. T at the start and then whatever comes after it and click okay. Not fast, quick and easy. I've got just the three physicians that start with T and we can clear that filter and we're back to everybody. Quick and easy way to filter based on the label that's in the column. Let me show you another example. I'm going to pull referring physician out and let's put diagnosis code in and notice a bunch of these have the word system in my made up diagnosis codes. So that's what we'll do. We'll go label filters and you know what I'm going to move this out just a little bit so you can see this label filter a little bit better. Label filters contains system and we're going to click OK and there are the five of, let's undo this so you can see, of the eight that have the word system in it. So quick and easy you can, e you can get to any, any amount of text or in the middle at the end, in the beginning that's in the label it's easy to filter by that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this filter, let's drag this out so you can see it a little better. We'll take this filter off and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take diagnosis code off and then I played with the date field that we had before and what I just put the raw dates back in to show you what happens when there's a date field in the column that's the label. What happens is, now you're, again, let me Excel's trying to size this to fit and we're going to make it a little bit wider so it's easier to see on the screen. Here is the where the label filters used to be. Excel says, hey, that's a date. I'm going to add date filters instead. And here's a whole bunch of date filters. You can make it equal a specific day, before a day, after a day, between two days, today, tomorrow, yesterday, this week, next week, this month, last month, next quarter, this quarter. So let's just say that we want to do this quarter and, and then there's custom ones down here. There's a whole slew of choices, but just for the sake of example, let's do this quarter and that fast. I'm making this video in the fourth quarter of 2009, and there are my fourth quarter of 2009 consults, quick and easy. And then again, like we did before, we can go up to the options menu, and we can group by month, and there they are. Fast and easy. It's an easy way to filter based on Excel really wants to help me there, based on what's in the label or the date, and you can easily filter by that. Stay tuned next time, we'll play the same kind of thing with this value filter and see the difference between label or date filters and value filters. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.